Good morning everyone, especially to our instructor, Mr. Ronald F. Hoben. I am with Mr. Lupo, Ms. Villarama, and Mr. Villasoto. And today we will discuss to you our topic about Meat Inspection Code of the Philippines. And here are the objectives. To be familiar to the Meat Inspection Code of the Philippines, its scope and sanction and other areas of concerns. Meat is animal flesh that is eaten as food. It is also valued as a complete protein food containing all the amino acids necessary for the human body. It is edible raw, but it is normally eaten after it has been cooked and seasoned or processed in a variety of ways. Importance of meat as food First, important constituent of human diet because meat is mainly composed of water, protein, and fat. Second, most nutritious and palatable food. Because meat such as chicken, pork, lamb, and beef are all rich in protein. Red meat provides us with iron, zinc, and B vitamins. Meat is one of the main sources of vitamin B12 in the diet. Third, provides proteins of high biological value, minerals, fatty acid, and wide range of essential vitamins to the human body. Because meat is an excellent source of protein, which is essential for any healthy diet. It helps build and repair muscle as well as help maintain healthy hair, bones, skin, and blood. Due to its high biological value or HBV, protein obtained from meat is easily digested and thus absorbed quickly and effectively by the body. Now, let's proceed to Republic Act No. 9296, otherwise known as the Meat Inspection Code of the Philippines. This Republic Act aims to strengthen existing rules and regulations governing meat importation to make them comprehensive, clear, and transparent, and ensure the safety and quality of imported meat and meat products through inspection and documentation.